Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today I'll show you how to use the Pro Gallery widget, which is our very own professional gallery solution that allows you to create advanced and stunning image galleries like the one you see here. So let's dive in and check it out. First off, go ahead and search for the gallery widget. Then drag and drop it onto the canvas. Let's go over its features one by one. In the settings drop down, we can choose the type of gallery we want, either single or multiple. Multiple gives us the option to add more than one gallery and filter between them, just like you saw before. Pro Gallery is smart at filtering too. If the same image is used in multiple galleries, the All filter will still only show the image once. For this example, I'll go ahead and set it to multiple. Now let's click on the gallery and give it a name. Then add some images. Here you can give each image its own caption, and on the right a title, and add a description if you like. You can reorder them individually, or reverse the order like so, then simply insert it. Cool! By the way, you can create more advanced galleries by having the images appear dynamically. Simply click dynamic and set it up accordingly. Next, I want to add another gallery, so like before, give it a name and add the images. Then insert it. Ok great, now that we've added our galleries, let's check out the other features. In layout, we can choose between grid, justified and masonry. Grid sets all the images to the same height and width. It also gives us the option to set the amount of columns, and add some spacing, and set the aspect ratio. Justified only sets the images to the same height. This way their width can be different, based on the image dimensions. You can control the row height over here. As you can see, increasing the height leads to less images per row, and vice versa. Masonry sets the images to the same width, just like in grid, but this time their height can be different. I'll go ahead and set it to 3 columns and set the spacing to 30 pixels. Cool! Let's move on to the filter bar options, which appears if you set the gallery type to multiple. We can hide the all filter, and give it a different name. Here we can change the pointer style, and here the animation. There are many options, so go ahead and try them out. In the overlay drop down, we can set the background to either show or not. And here we can set the title and description by linking them to one of the image's metadata details, like you see here. Ok, great. Now let's start styling our gallery. Under image, we can set a border color, width, as well as a radius. We can also set a CSS filter. I'll go ahead and set the image to blur a bit on Hover. Hover animation gives us the option to set a cool animation when hovering over the image. I'll go ahead and set it to zoom in. We can also set the animation duration, which is in milliseconds. A thousand, for example, sets the zoom animation to take exactly one second. Cool. Let's move on to overlay settings. I'll go ahead and set a gradient overlay. First, I'll set the colors. For this design, I've given the background overlay a blend mode and a hover animation, giving it this cool color changing effect. Go ahead and play around with it. There are so many options and combinations for you to try out, so you can get the exact effect you're looking for. In the content drop down, we can style the title and description. We can position them by setting the alignment and vertical position, like so. Then give it some padding to position it exactly where you like. Style the title and description to your liking, and choose one of many hover animations for them as well. Sequenced animation sets the overlay and text to enter gradually, enhancing the fade-in effect even more. 
Now let's check out the filter bar options. Here we can set its alignment. Next, I'll go ahead and style the text. Give it a color and set its typography. In the Hover tab, I'll change the text color. And in the Active tab, we can customize it even more. And last but not least, we can set space between, as well as control the gap between the filter bar and the images. Let's check it out. Cool. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the Pro Gallery widget and create your own advanced stunning image galleries. Have fun playing around. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.